This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drip G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host Drip Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also become a member of this podcast and get extra podcast content every single month, just like we are going to do tomorrow as of the recording of this episode, Drip. Tomorrow night yes. is our every, uh, every, the last Friday of every month, we do a live stream rec- uh, episode for members only. That is tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in for that. If you're not a member, links are down below. Drip tonight, we have a nice little show for you guys. We're gonna be talking about Mario Wonder. It's a me uh, because it's an amazing game. So we're gonna give, definitely give some love to Mario Wonder. We're also gonna be talking about the Switch Two again. I we know. are. And the capability. Not the, really. The capability. Really yeah, the not Switch really. Two. Uh, Things about the insides of it. That's all. Yes. Oh, we'll leave, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that little yeah. little, little thing. Uh, but Drip, how you doing this week, man? I'm doing fantastic, man. I'm doing fantastic. I uh, got my Christmas tree up last night. <laughs> you had to. You had to bring that one up. <laughs> you had. You had to bring that got one up. The Christmas tree up, and let me tell you something. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, no. It looks fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, and pressing, honestly, you know oh, what? No. I'd like to go ahead. If you if you don't mind, I'd like to just go ahead and start uh, with the beer of the week right now. Get it out of the way. Oh, Roll right into it. Oh, that's what. Oh no! I have a beer of the week this week. That's not actually a beer, but since my Christmas tree is up, and you know the holiday season has officially started, I did find some winter spiced cranberry sprite. Tastes like. Uh, Tastes like the holiday season. It tastes like, you know, tastes like a, a warm and ba- embrace from a family member. It tastes like, uh, tastes like Santa Claus coming down your chimney. Tastes like uh, reindeer, the pitter patter of reindeer on your roof. I'm very upset with you. I know. I, I knew. I knew that would upset you. I saw it. And I said, "This is gonna piss Jeeve off." That's my beer of the week. It is spiced. Winter, uh, winter spice cranberry, and I gotta say, if I'm being real honest, a little bit of a weird flavor. It, it's it tastes like cranberry and like like sweet cinnamon too. I don't know. It's it's something's going on there, a little strange. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It does remind me of the holiday season, which we are in right now. Welcome no. to the holiday season. No, we're not. Um, we're actually not. It's actually happy to be you here. Tell by the pumpkin that I have pro- my protest pumpkin that I've put up there. Uh, behind me it's 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 halloween season and there's halloween and then there's thanksgiving and then there's some jewish stuff that i don't remember because i'm not jewish and i'm sure there's other holidays between there is, there is three months my friend you are two months early almost to the day now if anything it's too early if anything at all i am one week early the day i today would be one week i mean i put it up after halloween anyway the tree goes up man Oh my god, I'm, I'm angry with you. I, I got Angry Orchard for what it's worth. Delicious apples, cause it's fall, <laughs> fits, not winter. Fits your mood. <laughs> it's uh, baked apple pie. I think I had this a couple weeks ago uh, on the show, but baked apple pie. You did. You I did. also have. That sounds uh, great. Though. I have a uh, secondary beer when I run out. I have the green apple, which I believe all again I did have for the show. That one you definitely did, yeah. Um, so yeah, I got those drinking for those uh, power in the podcast tonight. Uh, oh, that'd be good for a, a potential beer sponsor. How, how amazing that'd be! Powering the Jersey podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, we're gonna get this uh, get to the show tonight. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It is Oh no. No. Don't don't as well, you know me. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. That was amazing. Uh, I'm so mad. I'm sorry. Uh, it's great. Super Mario Bros. Wonder, uh, pun intended, it is absolutely wonderful and i want to take a quote that i I watched uh, or that i heard from a video i watched off of uh nintendo life today um they they said the game is wonderful uh no no but they also said that they were the developers probably called this game mario wonder because they were playing the game and they're saying how wonderful it is and they're like well that's the name of the game right there mario wonder and I got to tell you, Drip, I know you haven't played a ton of it, but I know that you know, and I and I know at this point, that this game is a special game. It's a yeah, really, it's, good. It, it, it's not a Tears of the Kingdom to me, clearly. It's a very different game as well. But it, if I'm talking like enjoyment level, I get just as much enjoyment playing this game as I do a Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild. It's, the enjoyment's right there, man. 
It's good. It's great. It it's hit, fantastic. It's missing the emotional, you know, por- uh, part of it that like Zelda gives me, but that's fine because enjoyment level, it's right up there, man. It's it's so much fun. I've only beaten. I've only beaten level three. I haven't even got to level four, and I know that the levels vary in you know uh, based off of like which one you go to first. I can't remember yeah. the names of where I'm at right now, but for you guys who've already finished the game or whatever, but it's so much fun. I enjoy it a ton, and uh, yeah, it's it it's really good. I mean, I, we talked about this last week. And we all had very limited time with it at that yes, point. But of course. After, after playing, I got to play it a little bit more after that. I played mostly Spider-Man. I'm going to say right now, I'm mostly on Spider-Man right now. Until I beat that story, you're going to be hard-pressed to get me to play a lot of anything else. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I did go back. I made myself go play a little bit that night. And then I played a little bit the next day, too, just to kind of kind of keep progressing through a little bit. But, man, it's just there's so many little things. It's just the de- the attention to details just amazing every little animation every little thing that they done is just you can tell you know they they didn't say okay here's mario here's mario looking left here's mario looking right here's mario's jump animation like he has three different running animations that like his face does different i don't it's just there's so much stuff man. well it's it's perfect it's perfect that you bring that up drew because i want i have an article here i'm gonna read a couple little things from here Okay. Um, the title of the article is, Turns out Nintendo spent some of Mario's billion-dollar box office on making the next video game more like the movie. And th- th- that's basically basically all you need to know. That Nintendo spent real dollars on the animations of the characters within the game to make it feel like the movie animations uh, for, you know... Uh, parody reasons, like like so. If I you, love that. I mean, I think that's awesome that they did that. Yeah, and you know, typically, you know, like I, that's the article kind of states a little bit as you read it. You know, you know, Nintendo usually spends a lot of money on Mario games. That that's not it's not that not, not like they don't spend money on the games, but usually yeah. that money goes more toward um or not not again not that Wonder didn't include this, but the money goes to the gameplay and making sure the gameplay is great, which is that's also present here in Mario Wonder, no doubt. But they spent extra money. To make sure that the animations and game feel and blah blah blah, all that has that same symmetry that it does to the movie, so people can watch the movie. Like kids, for example, who watch the movie, go, "Oh, that, the way," and they get the game. They're like, "Oh, yeah, that's that's the Mario from the movie I just watched." You know, yeah, the way he well, looks, I mean, I wanna, the way he runs, his it sounds. It makes me want to go back and watch the movie again. I haven't seen it in right. since I've played Wonder. Yeah, like I, I, I want to go back and see if I can like pinpoint. Oh yeah, like that that is like the game, or that yeah. is like you know what I mean. Or yeah, that, I noticed that in the game that's in the movie. I would like to see that at this point. That's very cool. That's yeah. very cool. There's it, some other stuff they've been like. There's some other little secret stuff going on with Mario too. Yeah, I mean, I, and like, there's, there's. It just goes to show. We talked about last week, but again, we had limited time with the game. Um, they just they took their time with this game in all the right ways, which just, it seems to be a theme that Nintendo's doing right now. And and there's there's just all, it's the little things, drip. It's the little things with the game that go a long way. And Nintendo just knows how to do it. And speaking of one of those little things. I'm going to play a little audio passage. Obviously, Drip, I know you can't hear it. You can play the I'm video going to play it for, myself. for yourself there. Um, but there's a little YouTube short. It's from CNET. Uh, I'll link that source down below. Uh, but I'm just going to play out the, the one-minute short for you guys right here on the podcast. So here we go. The music you're hearing right now isn't from a speaker. It's from the haptics in this controller. The Switch's Pro Controller doesn't have a built-in speaker like on the PS5, but it does have enhanced vibration functionality. Nintendo is using those haptics to make the controller rumble at different levels, making it sound like notes being played. In the recently released Super Mario Bros. Wonder, when you run across the music blocks, your controller will make music. Try it out yourself, but you'll probably have to turn your TV's volume down real low, or maybe even hold your ear up to the controller to hear this. And there we go, guys. So you guys heard him explain very clearly and nicely, uh, better than I could ever do. Uh, that's why I'm not working for CNET, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, but there, so basically, the game is making awesome music coming out of the controller, which is not unique because there's plenty of controllers that have speakers out there. This is not happening with a speaker, as we all know. The Pro Controller Joy Cons, which I haven't tried with the Joy Cons yet, but I know with the Pro Controller, I did test it out. Totally works. The, if you guys didn't know, sound is just vibration and a, a really nice haptic motor is just making very nice vibrations. So you can control those vibrations and make sound, make what we perceive as sound, like notes out of it. Yeah, so that's all coming out of the, the HD rumble, right? Like all HD rumble. That's it. There's no speaker. There's no holes for it. It's just the rumble that, inside the controller making there was the music. Another, what other game had like a whole song at the end? Was it a Kirby? I think it was a Kirby game. 
when you beat the game, it just it literally just played a whole song. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I do know that you could uh, back in the day when you had uh, the the iPhone four in particular, four and four S, those specifically because those had the very boxy flat edges. There was an app you could get that would vibrate the phone, and you could like make your phone like move. Like here's my phone, and like you can make the phone vibrate, and just the vibrations would move the phone across the table, and like you could control it. It was very oh, cool. kind of like the. That's kind of like the. Uh... Uh, the the things that they have the uh, what's the cardboard thing? Oh, the had? Nintendo Labo, yeah, yeah, they did the, the that same idea. Spider thing, yeah, the yeah, iPhone the 4 thing. did that ten years ago, <laughs> or uh, more than that. I don't know, yeah, but yeah, that, it, it's just it's it was just really cool what you can do with vibration and Nintendo's yeah, taking really cool advantage. Cool. Again, more of that money is being spent on just cool stuff. Not again, not that Nintendo doesn't already do that, but they're amping it up a little bit, and I just I really appreciate that. That's what brings me back to Nintendo. Um, it's just that little Absolutely, stuff. man. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Just incredible. Uh, again, I can't gush about Mario Wonder enough, but I feel like we're going to reserve that for another day when we both finish the game. We can do our honest reviews, which will probably happen on the YouTube membership side of things, guys. If you're not a member sure. already of the podcast, please do that. I know you guys are hearing this on Friday morning for the audio people. Uh, and that means Friday night tonight, you guys are going to be able to watch us uh, another a private live stream just for you guys, just for you members. So anyone who wants to become a member, the links are down below. I don't think we push this enough. So make sure you guys go down below, become a member, and every, the last Friday of every month, we're doing a live stream just for YouTube members. So make sure to hop in there. Uh, there'll be a Mario Wonder review for sure. Tomorrow, what are we talking about tomorrow, Drip? Uh, I forget. Yeah, I forget too. I know that we have written I down. Absolutely the forget. stream you, is made. I have it written down. Just now, and I, I know. Oh, game I of the no year. Idea. Game of the year stuff. We're talking about game of the year stuff. Um, uh, yes, 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 yes. And again, we're not just yeah. Nintendo. So if you guys have interest outside of Nintendo, we're also kind of trial running that in the podcast you, via memberships. So make sure to hop in there if you like other things in Nintendo. Tomorrow is going to be less about Nintendo, more about gaming in general and game of the year in particular, and a couple other things sprinkled in within the hour stream. So make sure to hop in there, become a member. Uh, that plug is over. Thank you guys for that. Um, Drip. Hey. Yes. It's yes. Uh, it's October 26th, uh, 2023. And uh, yeah. we still don't have an announcement. We still don't know when, if it's coming, but we all know it is coming. It's it's without a doubt the Switch 2 will be on its way. Uh, I don't think it's happening this year. I think some people out there think, think, think it oh, good might God, no. think it's possible. No, it's about to be November. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think if I'm not wrong, uh, to correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I think our, our buddy Switch Corner, or not Switch Corner, uh, he's not our buddy. He's like he stinks. Um, uh, our buddy, <laughs> our buddy, uh, uh, Switch Force, uh, who came on the podcast not too long ago, um, he had said in a couple of his videos recently that it's pop. You know, he I think I don't want to speak. A but, November announcement. Yeah, November is announcement is possible. Basically, yeah. So I've heard it out there. He, he he and other people have said it's possible. I mean, I don't think it is. Uh, it's an announcement. Maybe at this point, I don't know, man. I think. It's not like they're going to get in the way of any games. No. Games are out. No. Uh, but we did have something cool that is official. It is Doug Bowser, the man himself. Uh, what is his role at Nintendo? Uh, he is the president of Nintendo of America. And uh, the president of Nintendo of America conf all but confirmed yeah. backwards compatibility and, and a 2024 release date for the next system Coming from yeah. Nintendo. I mean, didn't quite say it, but I do want to talk about this because I think some of the stuff he said in here is very, very telling on on where their head's at on most of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. What did he say? This is the one thing I really want to I, I want to read here. In the past, uh, every device we trans transitioned to uh, had a whole new account system. So they're talking about keeping the Nintendo Switch account system we have right now intact. Like that's going to go over, which I think is very cool. Uh, Nintendo account uh, will always. Oh, I'm sorry. A Nintendo account will allow us to communicate with our players if and when we make a transition to a new platform to help ease the process or transition. Yeah. So for I don't know. Th there was a little bit more, and I'll, I'll I'll browse through this here and and kind of find some more of these little bits and pieces. But I mean that tells me right there, they're looking at. For, for this part of it, at least, they're looking at basically what Sony did. Yeah. What they've done for the, from the PS4 to the PS5, and I mean, Xbox did it too. Xbox did it too. But, you know, I, I got a PlayStation 5, literally unplugged my PlayStation 4, 
plugged my PlayStation 5 in, signed in to my account, and that was it. My, you know, my menu or my uh, my games were all there in my library. All I had to do is download them. Like, no big deal. All the PS4 games were there. Not a problem whatsoever. If you've got a disc version, the PS4 discs work, you know, perfectly. You don't have to worry about anything. And I feel like when they say, you know, it's a smooth transition when and if that happens, I feel like that's exactly what they're talking about. So you're literally just going to be, you know, it, it, it kind of, it keeps that that barrier kind of lower. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah you do have to go buy a new console, but at the same time, you're going to be getting all the new stuff with that one and you're not losing anything from the old one. You're literally just, it's like getting a new phone. You just sign into your stuff and it's just there. You know what I mean? For sure. I, I just... I, I feel like that's what they're doing, and I don't... Let me ask you this. Why do you think they're just not coming out and saying, like, yes, it will be backwards compatible? Like, what is the reason, <laughs> if any, to not say that right now? I think, unfortunately... Um, I think, unfortunately, the reason for that is that it's not coming. I think Nintendo might do a lot of right things uh, with the next console. Um, unfortunately, I feel like one of the things that they won't do is make more money. And the way that you make more money is that you sell a game twice or three times. I know. I mean, three times. You if you're and talking, me, right? We I mean like we going back to Wii U sales. Does there's some of those games that are on Switch, like like Mario Kart Eight, for example. If they, if they if they if they don't have plans for a new one for a couple more years, then maybe they go, hey, rebuy it again on Switch Two. Yeah, and I mean, then two months, and then two years later, and then two years later, go, okay, here's Mario Kart Nine. But like those try, those still they might try to still sell us Mario Kart Eight again. You know, it's very possible. I wouldn't put it past. I mean, we no, talked let, about this. Not, not it, to mention all very, the other very games. Possible. Not yeah. to mention oh, yeah, all the other games possible. from Wii U that could be put brought over to Switch too. Um, for me, though, for me, I think this is telling us right here. Like, okay, I, I don't have that big of a concern over it anymore. Yeah, we've talked about this several times, but this tells me, yes, the Nintendo accounts—they're looking at these Nintendo accounts to do that specific thing. Is to, to like, I mean, yeah. that's what everybody's doing now. Like, I don't. As much as as much as you're right, Nintendo would love to sell us all these games again. I just don't know if they're going to be able to get away with that again, really. You know what I mean? Especially with we've seen everybody else do this, where it's just like, yeah, sign in. Like, no, you don't get PlayStation. You know, your PlayStation Three games didn't come over, right? But everything you had in your library on PlayStation Four comes over. Yeah, everything you had in your library on the Xbox yeah. Series, or I'm sorry, the Xbox One. Just comes over to the series. I re again, I really want it to be true, and I, I still think there's a, definitely a world where it happens that we get backwards compatibility. Uh, you just asked me the question: What could be the possibility of them not just saying it? That would be why. You just know, just because it's just, not there. Just because it's not there. Uh, as far scary. as like any other reason, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. That, honestly, you would think. I mean, maybe because the console is farther out. Again, like just thinking about why they wouldn't say backwards compatibility, confirming it. A reason would be maybe because the console's a bit farther out than we actually think. And maybe it is like a holiday twenty twenty four thing and we don't get an announcement until like September, October next year. You know, that I mean honestly, that's still it's still a possibility. I'm not saying I want it, not saying that I think it's gonna happen that way. I'm I've just put saying that in my head. Honestly. It's still a possibility that it's just it's too early, you know? No, well, I that that's <clears throat> I I've stopped I don't know. I've stopped looking at a lot of the Switch Two stuff because it I mean, believe it or not, me, the guy who just goes crazy on this stuff. Yeah. Um I'm kind of sick of hearing about it, man. I, I'm kind of sick of it. And like what I've done is basically in my head, I'm like, this is a holiday. This is going to come out this time next year. The Switch 2 is going to come out this time next year. I'm not worried about when it's going to be announced. I've kind of put that whole thing out of my head. Now, this DLSS stuff that I have for us to talk about here tonight, mm -hmm. this is some interesting shit because there's a lot of stuff that we heard previously even last year stuff about chips from nvidia that we thought were going to be the ones that might not i mean there's a lot of shit going on and i, I what happened was i went down a rabbit hole what, the other what had night. happened I was sitting was, on the couch what had happened was i fell down a big rabbit hole um did you I, hop I out of it? one video I, no i just got right back in it today right for this podcast i'm still there still <clears> hanging <throat> out in the hole Welcome. you want to get in the hole uh, hang out in the hole i would love to get in your rabbit hole. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Set that one up. Set that one up. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. DLSS on the Switch 2. I think there's a lot of stuff going around right now and a lot of people making videos on this stuff that are talking about 
like the switch and ray tracing and things like that that i think have kind of spiral it's kind of like the what's the game where you you whisper something in somebody's ear whisper down, down the, the lane line. drip whisper down the lane is that okay i feel like that's what's happened here with these rumors with some of this stuff because some of it has gotten <laughs> so far off of like what is even capable or what, like possible or what the switch 2 will be capable of doing some of this doesn't even make sense like I, there's people out here talking about how the switch 2 might be like a ray tracing beast and that's what kind of got me down this <laughs> hole because i was like that sounds interesting i want to see about that the switch 2 uh with ray tracing and we're gonna we're gonna the switch 2 will be 45 pounds <laughs> yeah well, we're gonna we're gonna go back to that later yeah. but okay i want to i want to do a little bit of a recap just for anybody who doesn't know what's going on a little bit of a recap okay the vgc report we got uh months ago right two months ago mm -hmm. uh they they were talking about how the dev kits had switched to de uh switch to the devs had switched to dev kits right uh and we also heard about the matrix uh awakening demo behind closed doors at gamescom right right now, everybody was saying, like, oh, this thing was running uh, DLSS uh, 3.5 on Switch 2 equivalent hardware, not an actual Switch 2. But what they were saying was Switch 2 equivalent hardware. Okay. Now, all they were saying about this was that it was using DLSS to upscale. Okay? Right. That's it. Now, DL DLSS does a little bit more than I think people realize. It does do... Uh, what's called ray reconstruction yes i think that, if i'm not so, mistaken that's a newer feature from the newer it is it is um, yeah. wasn't always is. that way it's right but ray ray reconstruction basically builds ray tracing in for you it's kind of like the upscaling part of the you know whatever the shadow not really the shadows more of the reflections you know buildings cars water things like that yes so it can build that with AI, which is impressive. That's very, very, very impressive. Uh, now, that is not exactly what we were told we were seeing with this demo. But now it seems like you go you go watch these videos and everyone's like, oh, yeah, the demo. It had ray tracing and this and that. It had all this stuff. But it didn't. It didn't. Now, I, before I get into... Actually, we'll go into that Matrix stuff right now because this is what's kind of interesting about the Matrix stuff. Okay. Now, the <clears throat> the Matrix demo, we saw that when? It was right when uh, the PlayStation 5 and series consoles came out. Yeah. And that was Epic that made that. Okay. Using um, Unreal Engine 5. Right. Now that demo was not that demo was not made to show off ray tracing. Like there's a little bit in it. Like there there's some reflections and stuff, but this had nothing to do with DLSS. It was not showing off DLSS upscaling or anything to do with ray tracing. So I think people have gotten really confused at the fact that they used that and showed it being upscaled on the Switch. Right. is making them think that it's doing something crazy to it because it's not. That demo was made to show off like three or four different things that uh, Epic is doing with Unreal Engine 5. One of them is called Nanite. Okay. And that is uh, visual geometry. So basically uh, building structures, how things are like yeah. loaded in and put together. Uh, and the other one is Lumen, which is like their smart lighting system. Okay. So that's going to deal with more of shadows, you know, lights coming from this area. But it, I guess it's like crazy smart. That was the whole reason that they were even making that demo. It had nothing to do with upscaling resolutions or ray tracing whatsoever. Gotcha. Yeah. So I, I think people are losing. I think people are losing what we actually like what these people saw in this room and have made this whole thing to where the switch Two is this untouchable fucking monster and it's going to be so insane because it it's going to have to be good but it's i can tell you right now it's not going to be what these rumors have made it out to be this big ray tracing beast that's going to run like you said earlier 4k 60 with full ray tray i mean that ain't happening dlss can't do that 
Yeah, DLSS is an amazing technology that's only getting better, and it's using machine learning as well as a bunch of stuff that I don't understand to make lower frame rate and lower resolutions higher. Okay, um, it doesn't mean that it takes every game on the on the system's library and makes them significantly better. Okay, well, it, it has the potential to do so um, to a lot of games, but it's not this. Uh, it shouldn't be the notion of oh, well, the next switch is it's first of all, it's got to be powerful because look at the Steam Deck, look at the this competition, it's got to be more yeah, powerful. Yeah, it doesn't mean shit. And, that and, and, mean and, and, oh, and it's got DLSS, so it's got to be. You know, it's got to be at least on part of the Steam Deck. And then if you add DLSS, then it's going to be 20 times better than that. It's going to be 4K60 every single game, blah, blah, blah. And I just think that people are getting ahead of themselves with that. So, yeah, I, I, I think it, it doesn't mean that the next Switch is going to be powerful. I just don't know, even from, if you were to say to me right now, which, you, go ahead and ask me, Drip. Ask me, do I I'll think... I'll ask you. I'll do, ask do you. Do I think that the Switch 2... Tell me 2, what to ask you, because I'll do it. Here's what you should ask me. Hey, hey, Gene, okay. do you think that the Switch 2 is going to be on par with the Steam Deck? Hey, Gene. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the Switch 2 is going to be on par with the Steam Deck? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not that. That's not a no. Oh, it's just no. not a yes. Because uh, I don't think it's Nintendo's priority to go, hey, we have to make our next system better than the Steam Deck it's in not. terms of graphics. That's, it's not their priority. It's, yeah, it's you're not. You're 100% right about There's that. There's many other it's things not. it's going to kill the Steam Deck at, just like it does currently with the fact that it's dockable. It's, it, now, the, the, yeah. the Steam Deck is dockable, but it, again, Nintendo does it better. There's plenty of things Nintendo will do yeah, better. Oh, they do, the, dude. Like, you, <clears> you dock the Steam Deck and try, like, it doesn't, I don't know, man. I can run Red Dead handheld and it's good but dude you plug, like you have to change everything it's like yeah. a it's it doesn't just go you know what i mean yeah you have to change so much stuff to get it to actually look good and run the way that you really want it to run it's a pain in the ass honestly yeah but uh, okay so here's what i want to talk about with that since we're on that subject of the switch to uh, like it's not going to be this powerhouse but it's got to have some power. It has to. Because this is another thing that I, I've learned in this rabbit hole that I've been in about DLSS. People think that this is literally, and you've said this to me, and I was like, I don't think that. I don't think that. But now I kind of see where you're getting these, these things where you'd say, you think it's going to be like DLSS is just going to fix all these problems. I'm like, I don't think that. I think it's going to help. But you look around, and, and people really do think it's like this just – it just fixes everything like you can just have you know the switch right now and throw dlss in there and then it's like oh it's 4k now it's not how this works no not at all the switch okay let's not even go into the actually we will go into the ray tracing part of this yeah yeah okay i've been playing spider-man 2 mm -hmm. spider-man 2 is the only console game right now that if you want to play it 60 frames per second you can still get ray tracing. It's the only game on consoles right now you can Pl do that. Press the button, Drip. Press the, press the cheer button. Because that's an accomplishment, my guys. Fuck yeah, it is. And it looks great. Like, that's incredible. incredible. Like, we're a Nintendo podcast. And I, I love Nintendo. I will yeah. I will love them forever, probably. But let me tell you something. Sony is doing great things right now. Yeah, it, Insomniac actually, uh, they, they crushed it, man. But I, they did, they said that they, they focused the development around ray tracing. So it worked like yeah. that was their focus and you can do that. So I'm saying like, yeah, can the switch to, if it has this DLSS 3.5 technology, can it do ray tracing? Yes, it can. It absolutely can. If the game is built for that, mm -hmm. but what the fuck is the point of building a Nintendo game on a handheld system for ray tracing? No, I, I, in fact, I bet you ray tracing isn't even the only game it might be featured on is a game like a Zelda game or that's maybe Metroid a, Prime Four, Metroid Prime Four, a, a 3D Kirby maybe. But it's and, you're, you're not going to see ray tracing on Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario 3D games. Probably oh no, not. No, and they don't um, need it. They don't. They don't. It need doesn't. It. it doesn't necessarily even fit the art style because the whole point of ray tracing is to get as close to real to life reflections as you possibly can. Yeah. And name me one Nintendo game that tries to get to real life graphics. Maybe the one. closest thing you're gonna see is, like I said, like Metroid, and that's not even that's that's it's not real life though. It's it's, no, it it's not. maybe the closest. I mean, but I'm thinking like Twilight Princess, least, maybe like maybe. Like, uh, yeah, okay. That's, that's we, we don't. Yeah, that's 20, a thing too. We 20 don't years new, old game. We like, don't know what the new Zelda games. I'm just trying to think like of either, the last so. Nintendo first party game that was trying to get to realistic graphics. Like I, I just can't think of any. Can you? Okay, but here's here's the here's the biggest thing. This is kind of where I was going with that. 
for the DLSS, let's just say not even that part, not even the ray tracing part, but just the upscaling and even ray tracing. Actually, we can go with that too mm -hmm. because either one of those things for the Switch 2 to use DLSS to do either one of those things, it's going to have to be able to do it itself first. Yes. It's not going to be able to take... DLSS doesn't just take nothing and make it something. It makes the things better. So it's going to have to be able to do ray tracing and do it at a decent at enough frame rate that they could put it in even if it did work. DLSS, That's the thing. That's, D, you go, uh, DLSS is the illusion of better. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. It, it, for resolution, it adds. Uh, add, it does technically add information for resolution, but it's more of like it, it's more of like a, 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 a what's it, like an optical illusion is really more of yeah. what it is. And it's uh, doing and, a lot of and it frame through. rates. It just basically simulates frame rates in between the frame rates that already are being pushed out by the console. So it's yeah. all ba it's an illusion game. It's AI. It's, it's AI. It's, it's very. It's, it's very interesting. It's still it, the, it's the results. Deep learning super yeah. sampling. The results uh, create a, a beautiful product, but it don't don't mistake it as sim uh, as simulated hardware. It's it's really just optical illusions to the nth degree. Well, and that's I think that's where a lot of people get confused too, because we've got so many things out there that are AI now. Mm. Like you can just type in an AI thing and say, "Give me a picture of." Mario. It's going to get more crazy as we go through the yeah. 2020s. And, and these things the look insane, here. and it just builds it from nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not the way DLSS works. It takes what's there, refines it, makes it better. It knows what it needs to do to make it better, but you have to give it what it needs first to make that thing better. For sure. So the Switch 2, to get frame rates we need, frame rates we want, resolution we want, and if they, if they want to add ray tracing in after they get all that fixed... This thing is going to have to have a certain amount of power to even get the DLSS to do what it needs to do. Absolutely. Because it doesn't and matter if the thing's running at 20 frames per second and then get it up to what? I don't know. For, like I don't 40. Know how, I think 40, the, rule, yeah. the rule of thumb is kind of like double, is, is to my okay, understanding. Even the that, resolution, it's like go go up a step. So if it's 10, 720p, it goes to 1080. If, okay, it, if so it's 30 that, FPS, it goes to 60. I, I like, think that's like a rule of thumb. I don't know if it's... To just, yeah, it they're not going to be able to just put these games out like, okay, that's fine. We'll let the DLS... And, and that's the other part of it, too. They're going to... I don't know exactly how this works. I haven't got this far into my rabbit hole yet. But I don't know exactly how you develop games incorporating the DLSS in because I, I know, know it's you... something you have you have to think about that as you're making the game it's something that you're actually working with in real time when you're making the game it's so not it's I, not like you can add it onto a current game that already exists right yeah saying. you can't just throw it on top I mean okay with PCs and stuff if, if it supports it I know you can you can turn it on and off and do whatever but yeah the game has to support it yeah I don't know and and then there's this other thing too which I think is very interesting um I don't know T to to kind of put a bow on that part of it. Uh, everyone needs to really just step back and maybe maybe look into DLSS a little more before you start jumping the gun on what this thing's going to be, because it it's got to have some power. And then you know, a as we talked about before, you're going you get more power, you're going to run into other problems. Which the big scary problem everybody is afraid of is that battery life. Everybody's worried about that battery life. So they're going to have to strike some balance of enough power in handheld mode with enough DLSS to bring this thing to where it needs to be to get the third party games. Cause that, I mean, that's, I think we can both agree. That's what this is all about. It's getting the third parties there where they need to be keeping them happy and, and letting them be able to put their games on these systems easier without making it a huge thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think b people but, are definitely missing the point because we're getting these devices from R uh, ROG uh, and, and obviously a Steam Deck and a lot of those other like Linux or Windows-based uh, yeah. handheld PCs, right? We're seeing all this stuff, and they do so much more than the, the Steam Deck, let alone the Switch. And the Steam Deck on its own, it's like, if we could just have that, it'd be great. But... People are missing the point because we're seeing all this good stuff. And the the whole, like you just said, the whole point of the whole thing of the next Switch, yeah. it's to be the same thing that we already have, just being able to get the third-party games 
uh, that we don't have, like the third party support, the full third party support, not just like what can run on the switch. Just like we want to remove or what that. They want to actually put the money in to to make right. it run on the switch. We want we want to remove the barrier for the developers to be able to just put their game on the switch without having to worry about if it's powerful enough or not. That's what that's the whole point of the next switch. If exactly. you're if you're looking for more power, there are other devices out there for you, right? It, yeah. It, you know, it's just, that's just the fact of the matter. And if and if that upsets you, I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. Not don't shoot me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean, like I said, I think I think maybe I, I I will not say that I was totally caught up in it, but I mean, I before I went down this this hole and f really looked into this DLSS stuff a little bit harder. I mean, I thought it could do a little bit more than it can do. It does. It does things. It does very, very impressive things. But it's got to have a base to start with. That is my next thing I want to talk about, though. What is this base going to be? What are they going to be running this switch to with? Because something else, um, I got this uh, from a guy. Check him out. Uh, Super Metal Dave 64. Send me a link. And a I'll, I'll, I'll add a source. Down yeah, he does a lot of he does a lot of a uh, lot of switch stuff, but he. Um, he found out something. Uh, if you remember back, I believe it was 2021. Um, some leaker out there was like, oh, I think I found out what Nintendo's going to use for the Switch 2. They, they're making chips, and the names of the chips are this and that, whatever, and they had skipped this one. Mm. They had skipped one. And it was spo supposedly a custom chip for something uh, something different, and at that point, it was like, okay, this might be the one for the Switch uh pro the switch pro switch Two, but it hadn't been used for anything until uh this was just found uh july of 2023 <clears throat> nvidia is now using the t239 chip is what it's called uh they're using it for their jetson ai stuff it's another variant uh, of a thing that they're making for their uh, jetson ai so the chip is now being used by nvidia okay not there, uh, this guy was the only guy I could find the other night talking about this at all, and I think that's very interesting. So, here is, I guess this is what we're, this is where we're at with what this thing's going to run on. It could easily just be this chip, right? It could <clears throat> still be this chip. Yeah, I highly doubt that at this point. I highly doubt that's all it is. Is just you know off the shelf, throw it in there. Uh, it could be something completely new that we don't even know about yet because you have to remember this too. Uh, this was talked about back when we thought we were getting a switch pro. Right. So that could have been something that they, like a mid, like a mid generation jump that they wanted to do. And this might not be that thing. You know what I mean? This could be underpowered to what we could. Yeah. Get. Now this could be, I'm what I'm saying this could be something that wouldn't even fit the specs they need for what they're trying to do with the switch to at this point. So it could be a modified version of this, maybe an upgraded version. Like we kind of saw with like the switch one to the, the gen two switch that did the better battery life and all that yeah. stuff might be a situation like that. Or they or they have something brand new. Like I said, that we have no, uh, no clue. Which I think that is actually very, very interesting to talk about, because if they've they've if they've upgraded what that chip was, because that was supposed to be a pretty good thing from what they were saying, like that's that's got the power, like for sure, that's got it's what got this thing needs. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Because <laughs> um, that one had the power. That was the one. It was like, okay, this is a chip that can make make a difference. So if that's on the back burner now like what <clears throat> i don't know i mean i have no idea what that that's the part where i don't know like it's very exciting to talk about it's very exciting to to speculate what it could be it might be the same chip but like that's that's a little out of my area when it comes to you know an soc i don't know shit about any of that <laughs> asking the wrong guy here i got no idea i mean i don't know it, 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 all the stuff is basically uh um, that's basically all the information I have on that, but it's like the ray tracing thing, man. Yeah. People got to calm down on the ray tracing because, dude, yeah, okay. Docked mode, fine. Like, how much of that are you going to notice, even if they did it? How much of that are you going to notice on an 8-inch screen? Yeah. Especially one that's going to be 720p. Mark my words, the next switch will have a 720p screen again. 
It, it will be 720p. Yeah, it might. Once I again. mean, it might. I, I don't. I think that's an area where they can not only save a little bit yeah. of costs, uh, well, yeah. but just make we, it so people don't freaking notice as much detail, which makes it seem like it's got more detail, especially if the games look way better natively. So yeah, I, 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 I it would, and not to mention the fact that the battery life hit you'd get going from 1080p from 720p. Yeah, from the 720. Ba- as far as that battery technology from when they made the Switch OLED isn't all that different to when they're going to well, make then, the Switch 2 in a year or so. So and we've we've heard, <laughs> I mean, there are rumors out there too that they're not even using an OLED screen. I, OLED it's should help. I, I might be crazy. I just think OLED is more power efficient. I, I, that's what I've always understood. No, um, I did look that up. I fought you on that on a podcast. I did look that up. You are correct. It is more efficient. If only we could go it's back. It's not to, a crazy go, amount. Back time. It's not a crazy amount, but it is. It is yeah, slightly right. more efficient. And I believe that's almost exactly what I said that night. Is that I don't think it's crazy, but I do think. Yeah, it's I told more power you were a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I said. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think you did say that. And then I, I, I was watching the podcast back as I do most Thursday nights because. Mm-hmm. Because you're single, I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> um, and uh, I was watching it back, and I we went back to that part, and I was like, I'm fucking googling this right now. I need to see what's going on with this. And you were right, so I, I will yeah. I will take the L on that. one. Yeah. So I mean, OLED is a little out. bit more expensive, oh, no. so they, they would only use um, LCD to save costs. But I don't think it's going to make that that big of a difference for battery. But uh, to go no. from an LCD or from an LED or that we have currently the OLED to an LCD, that would be gross. Unless well, think about this. Unless there's my is there unless there's tiers going on like we've talked about in the past recently, where there's tiers of Switch twos, and the the second tier or third tier has the OLED screen, just like the Steam Deck. Second and third tier have this special anti gloss screen. It's possible that there's a similarity there, uh, and Nintendo does tiers. But again, I really uh, I really hope that it's just all the Switch twos have OLEDs because God, those are beautiful. And they, yeah, if, they if, are. if we they really if we are. haven't learned any if we've learned anything, drip, it's that from the original Switch to the Switch OLED, it's that. That OLED covers up a whole lot of hurt, right? Man, oh, yeah. it makes those I games mean, those, look those so screens. much better. And I'll tell you what's wild. Like, my kids will be here, my youngest. She still just doesn't understand that, like, the Fortnite loading screen is a loading screen. Like, you can't do anything. And on the Switch, it takes a long time. So she's yeah. always like, something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> Hand it to me. I'm like, dude, nothing's wrong. It's a loading screen. Give it time. Oh, But I, I'll sit there and look at that for a second. Mm-hmm. And then my other one will be playing on her OLED, and I'm like, I you know look at that, and I'm like, oh my god, like what a difference, yes. what a massive, massive difference it is. Reminds me of something I think I've already forgotten since you since I remembered. Uh, nice. Um, Glad yep. I could help you with that. Forgot. Yeah, that's what that's that's all it takes for me. Just a couple extra seconds of holding. I know. And that's all it takes. <laughs> and then I forget what I was Trust going me. to say. I, I live my life like that, dude. It's fine. Totally fine. Man, I just okay. had it again. I lost it. Man, it's like okay, a, it's well, like I, a got, I got something to I got yeah, something yeah. for you to chew on here while you're trying uh-huh. to remember. Okay, so we're talking about the uh, the the battery life. Obviously, that's an issue. That's something that they have to make sure they keep in check. It can't. Can we all agree that it cannot be the Steam Deck battery? It has to be so much better than the Steam Deck. Battery. No, it's got to be. It's got to be at least what the Switch does now. I at least. I would say that that's being optimistic. I would say if it's less, I would be pissed. Oh, it will be less. Especially because, well, some people are saying they want 10 fucking screens. And I'm like, you're crazy uh, for many reasons. Like, what? Yeah, why do you want? It it already got so much big. I don't know. Anyway, um, a battery. Let me me get my Switch. Let me get my Switch. (laughs) Yeah, holding your giant iPad. It's just silly. I mean, like, come on, guys. Like, if you want a bigger screen, then play on a TV. Like we yeah. came okay. back in my day, well, yeah, I had listen, a, we thing. had here's little, what I ask we you. had one and a half inch screens from like like Game Boys and, and other little devices like Tom- Tom- Tamadachis and oh here comes they, old they, man. They G. didn't even have fucking lights, dude. They didn't even have lights on. You had to like you had to wait in the car for when your mom's driving and you're in the back seat. You had to wait for the street light to come on to play your game. Uh. It did suck. I'm just saying, we don't need 10 <laughs> inches of glass or, no, or, or we whatever. Don't, we don't. We, we don't. No, we definitely don't. Seven on the current, what's the OLED? Eight right now? Seven? Eight? eight yeah. Eight's it, pretty good. More I like than it's enough. At. It it's is good. The original Switch was enough for me. Okay, let me ask you this. So, that chip, maybe maybe the reason, this I'm kind of I'm kind of putting on the tinfoil hat here, mm-hmm. but uh, the battery knife? life, whatever, we don't know about that. The screen, saving money on the screen. Yeah. Maybe 
they are saving money on the screen because they do have this brand new nvidia chip that they're getting and that's where they need to save that little bit that's why they're trying to save a little bit here because they are putting something in it that is very new and, and very capable that's yeah. also a possibility it's a possibility uh lars in the chat we didn't even know what frame rate was back in the day that's <laughs> it couldn't be more right what the hell is a frame rate what? <laughs> I've got a total of 30 pixels on this screen. Like, what do you want from me? Like, <laughs> yeah. no. Frame rate? <laughs> Get out of here. You dork. Get the hell out of we, here. Geek That's used hilarious. to mean, you know, geek back in the day was a hurtful thing, not like an endearing comment now. Like, yeah. nowadays, it's like, I'm a geek, and it's like, cool. And now, back yeah. then, it was like, that was like, like a very, you know, that was like a derogatory term for people with classes like me and other people who are just nerds geeks nerds so how do you feel about that saving money on the screen so they can put a nice chip in there uh i don't think the screen is that much money to where it would save on a chip the chip my guess is is like way more money than a yeah. screen well i and, mean that's a, well okay maybe it's not just the screen maybe they are doing things here and there to cut costs to to put the to make it right price wise so they can do what they need to do with this thing. I'm interested to see what the chip's going to be now, especially knowing yeah. that the one that everybody thought they were going to use is now being used for AI for Nvidia. Yeah. That's that's kind of where I think that's like one of the most interesting things of all this. I mean the DS the DLSS rabbit hole I went down was fun, but finding that in the rabbit hole I thought was very very interesting. Yeah. But I don't know man, that's basically all I got on this. I want to. Oh, I, I want to say, Drip, you, this was all you tonight, completely you. Okay, I did my normal stuff, but you, the the topics for tonight were all you. Can we get a round of applause for Drip. Play the button. What what an episode! It's a little bit shorter tonight. I know we're we're gonna wrap it up, go to the after show here because we don't have to we have to, we don't have a ton more to, to go off of this topic. But Drip did yeah. all the research, put all this together for us tonight, and I just sat back and listened like you guys and, and interjected. So I did talk a lot. I'm sorry. No, it was great. <laughs> it was it was it was perfect. It was definitely one of those nights. It was for sure. It was perfect. Uh, I think we I think that was one Appreciate of the, it, man. the best conversations we've had. And maybe because I don't talk, maybe that's been, maybe it's some people are right. <laughs> maybe me and my tiny hands just shut the hell up. And just let you talk, and I'll just sit here looking pretty at the mic. That was the original idea of the, idea of the show, if you remember, which is I'm I'm the host, and Drip says yeah. it tells all the talking. Now it's now my dumbass is like I'm gonna talk a lot. That was the biggest mistake of hey, our podcast. I don't think so. I think it makes it better <laughs> when we both talk. I, I like I said, I told you, I told you the other night. Whenever I went into this, I was like, dude, I, I I'm gonna just write a presentation to bring to you. <laughs> it was it was wonderfully put. The whole thing, I loved it. It was, uh, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna call here, guys. So make sure if you're hanging out in the stream, stick around. We'll be hanging out in the after show as we always do. And just a reminder: tomorrow night is the members podcast. If you're listening um, to this Friday morning, become a member. Make sure to become a member do on it. YouTube. You get extra content. It does not get pushed Hit to audio feeds. The button. It gets to YouTube, and it, you can listen to it and all the good stuff. Uh, YouTube comes with that. So make sure to do that. We're talking about some cool stuff tomorrow night. It's uh, hey, not- I'll tell you this, <clears throat> members. I'll tell you, next member, ne- next person to become a member gets one of these hats. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You heard it right here. And drip. You can't, There's one more up for grabs. The audio people one can't more see up it. For grabs. And the audio people can't see it. Uh, yeah, it's, and, or it's here, a, they're not gonna hear it tomorrow. So we apologize to the audio people. I guess this is a stream perk here. Uh, if you, next it's person, just a hat. It's a trucker hat. Next person to become a member on. on YouTube gets a hat. And maybe I'll even forego my hat to get some if we get two. I'll just I'll give I'll give it to somebody else, man. I yeah, I'm care. sure Moran wouldn't mind making me some more. Yeah, maybe Moran make yeah, maybe he makes some more. And we'll just you know, Ooh, we can yeah. things going here. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for listening on the audio, audio side of things. Stream, stick around. We'll be hanging on the after yep. show. But for now, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.